I think it's really important that there's early communication with any new hardware platform, uh, with the people that are going to be designing the software for that platform. Um, I think we've, over various hardware generations, I think developers have had their favourite platforms to work on, and that tends to be the one that allows them to effectively execute their vision. Um, and I think Sony have, have really, really taken the lead with that with PlayStation 4. So there's a huge benefit to gamers with the platform holders reaching out to developers, especially from an early stage, because first of all, we're providing feedback and, and opinions on like how things work and how things didn't work, and they're responding to those and they're listening to us. And so we were able to provide really concrete targets for them. And you know, it's not like they took them as marching orders, but I feel like what we contributed combined with what all the other studios they work with contributed made this a very informed set of decisions. And I think you're seeing that when uh, you, you see the reaction, even from people who weren't directly involved, as, hey, this is a well-engineered gaming system. This is a system that makes a bunch of very intelligent design decisions in order to make it a fantastic game platform. And that's what we wanted. That's what we want for players. It's what we want as game makers. Sony recognizes that the PlayStation is a gaming platform. And in order to sell gaming platforms, you need to sell games. And that's very important, and not everybody gets that. A lot of people see gaming platforms as like home media entertainment. Yes, they do have all this other additional functionality, but the people who go out there and buy those platforms initially are the gamers. And those people are the people who you know, provide word of mouth of like, yes, you should buy this because it's awesome. The fact that we've got these incredible graphics, we've got the, the very uh, easy to use online connectivity, it just generally creates a world for the player. You know, really, um, the benefit of this is that we can actually create a game where the player is connected to it 24-7 if they want to be. At that point, I think this is where people already start thinking differently. And you know that the boundaries that you've sort of gotten used to, for a moment, those boundaries, they just disappear. And it's, it's all about finding out how far you can push your vision that you can really go all out and uh, think outside of the box. Uh, I think that that's something very, very powerful. It's that kind of blurring the lines between imagination and reality, if you like. That's, that's what excites me. So as technology progresses, we've got the PlayStation 4 now, we can make that line between imagination and um, reality even more blurry. You get a control and you get close to the TV and you get tunnel vision and all of a sudden you're like, I'm there. And that's what we're aiming for. I think Sony really gets it and gets where gaming should be going. That um, online gaming itself doesn't necessarily mean hardcore people playing in a clan in you know a deathmatch somewhere. It means sharing. It means being social with each other. One of the things we've found internally is that um, you, you get inspired by other people doing cool stuff. And that is what's amazing about system-wide sharing of moments, not just of creations, but of actual moments while you're playing. That can be funny, that can be instructive, and that can be inspiring. And therefore more shareable. So it starts to kind of influence each other. If you, if you hear about a feature like this, you kind of go, what, what, how would that kind of make the gameplay much richer? As a developer, all you want to do is get your content on a platform. You know, you have your original vision, you have the goal that you want to try and achieve, and if the platform gets in the way of that, you feel frustrated. But if you are moulding the vision for that platform as you're developing, it makes it so much easier for you to, to, to execute on that vision. One key thing is that I think for some reason with the PlayStation, um, there's always been a move to encourage sort of artistic visionaries. And I think with this next generation, that's just been, you know, pushed forward even more. So the kind of things that start to come out of these, you know, sort of transplant from the person, from the creator's mind to the screen, you know, they're going to bring the, their vision and just, and it will work. It allows just the industry to grow. Um, it's not just, here's a new piece of hardware, it's here's a new era. And that's just amazing.